In this screencast, we'll take a look at how to build surveys in JT Learn. Surveys can be used as formative assessments in your classroom. They can also be used to help students reflect on their own thinking and learning so that they can set goals and look at benchmarks and how they relate to your course and materials. And they can also help you to get feedback from your students about how the class is going and uh, how, how the students are functioning in your class so that you can inform your instruction. In order to insert a survey on your JT Learn page, you need to have Feature Builder installed on your teacher page. If you don't have Feature Builder there, you need to go back to the tutorial that activates that web part and also how, uh, shows you how to install Feature Builder onto your teacher page. Once you've done that, come back to this tutorial and you can place a survey in your JT Learn. When you want to create your survey, go to Feature, Feature Builder on your teacher page and in the drop-down menu, select Survey for Student Use. Type in the name of the survey that you, that you would like to give to your students. And then you can select whether you want them on course level sites or period level sites. In this case, I've checked my period level sites. You can have the, the survey display on your quick launch, which is your side navigation, or if you deselect that, it won't display there. You'll want to think about that. If you use a lot of different surveys or you create a lot of uh, links on the side, you may not want all those surveys populating there, but it really depends on your class and how um, you want to lay, up, uh, lay out your JT Learn site. And then you also want to decide whether or not you want users to be able to see other students' responses. Um, in general, you'll probably want to leave this checked so that they can't see those responses, but there may be times when it's okay for them to see them. Once you've filled out this entire form, then click Finish. Now I placed my survey onto all of my period level sites, so I'm going to navigate just to one of them to see what that looks like. So on the site navigation, it says My Survey. I click that link, and now that the basic survey is on the page, I want to create the questions for my survey. And to do that, I go to Settings and then Add Questions. So there are different types of questions that we can ask our students in a JT Learn survey. Some of the more commonly type asked questions are ones where students would respond with a single line of text or multiple lines of text, or they can use a choice menu to, with a drop down. They can also use a Likert scale and rate something. Another uh, commonly used would be like a yes or no checkbox. So my first question in my survey is, did this lesson's office mix help you understand what we did when you arrived in class today? I, w I would like that to be a yes or no, obviously, and then my default will be yes. And once I've completed that question, I can click next question. My next question for my students is, what portions of today's lesson do you need more help with? So for here, I, I'd really like multiple lines of text. I want some more feedback from my students. Am I going to require a response? I'm going to say yes. Um, you can change the number of lines of editing. I'm going to leave the default of six, and I'm going to leave it as a plain text response, and then I can click Next Question. And my final question on my survey is, for our class party on Friday, what kind a food item can you bring to share? So this, I'd like to have them pick by certain categories, and so I'm going to make this a choice and a drop-down menu for them to select from. Then I want to require a response to this question. Leave this radio button selected as No, and then I want to populate <clears throat> my drop-down menu. Uh, my choices are going to be chips, pop or juice, cookies, vegetable tray, or fruit slices. They each need to be on their own separate line for them to be a choice in the drop-down menu. The display choices could be drop-down menu or radio buttons. Radio buttons are just these kinds of circles that you fill in, like right here. Or you could have check boxes to allow for multiple selections, but I'd like a drop-down menu on this survey. I'm not going to allow for any fill-in choices on this particular question. And since this is the last question in my survey, I'm going to click the button that says Finish. In order for me to see my survey questions at any time, I can go to Settings and go to Survey Settings. And when I scroll down, I can see each of my questions. 
Did this lesson's office mix help you understand what portions of today's lessons and for our class party? So all of my questions are sitting in the survey settings. Then when my students see my survey, they go to respond to this survey and they go through all of the questions just like a typical survey and fill in their choices or use a drop down menu, um, whatever, whatever it is that you need. Finally, when you're ready to view your student responses, you can either go to show a graphical summary of responses or you can go to show all responses and see each individual response uh, from your students. So you want to click either of those links depending on how you want to see the responses. So this is how you create a survey in JTLearn, how you uh, add questions to your survey, and then how students submit, and then how you can see all of your student responses. Thanks for watching.